Good morning, Mount Zion. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Good morning, Mount Zion. Good morning. How everybody doing today? Yeah. I still see some miles not moving, but we're gonna move on anyway. <laughs> because if God woke you up this morning, All right. you ought to be able to say something. On his behalf. Now, has God been good to you today? I'm going to close my eyes so I won't look at them miles not moving. Has God been good to you today? All right. Well, let's rock and roll. We're going to go ahead and get started. Y'all ready? Amen. Our musicians are here. This may be the last time. This This may be the last time, it may be the last time, I don't know. It may be the last time we all get together. Praise the Lord. Come on, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's give, praise. Come on, let's give God some praise. Amen. As we go before the throne of God, God, it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. We're going to go ahead with the program, but tap your neighbor, just shake it off. Whatever you came in, just shake it off. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we come, Father, to celebrate. On this day, oh God, Lord, we thank you, Father, Lord, for another day, an opportunity just to worship, oh God. We thank you, oh God, Lord, for every father that's here, oh God. We thank you for every man that is simple, oh God. We thank you for every person that's here, oh God. Now, Spirit of the living God, as we come before your throne of grace, Lord, empty us out of everything that's not like you. Everything that we may have traveled with coming in, oh God, Lord. Every tiredness, every drug, empty us out, oh God. And we open up ourselves to receive of you, oh God. And Father, we thank you that we pray under an open portal, oh God. We worship under an open portal, oh God, Lord. We, oh God, Lord, celebrate under an open portal, oh God. And because we do that, we thank you for the blessings, oh God, that shall come down in this service. Father, orchestrate this service like no other, oh God. Be in every prayer, oh God, Lord, every song that's going to be sang, every scripture that's going to be said. Bless the man of God that's going to bless the word. Give him a supernatural endowment. We thank you for the anointing that makes preaching and teaching your word easy, oh God. Bless the ears of the hearers that shall hear your word. That after we hear your word, we'll be changed, challenged, and charged to go forth in your name. And we thank you and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Please remain standing for the doxology. Uh, not yet. Amen. Please remain standing for the doxology. He, he was right. He was right.
may be seated. Well, I feel pretty good today. I don't know about y'all. Anybody else feel good today? Not because it was my birthday yesterday. And I didn't believe the Lord was going to have me here for 65 years. Not that I cut all that. No, I, I can't tell y'all the work I did yesterday because you're going to be trying to count my money. But the Lord allowed me to get up and do something yesterday that I hadn't did in a long time by myself. Without pet load. He tell everybody I won't let him. Anyway, we're so grateful to be here this morning. Because I truly understand that if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be right now? And I'm sure some of y'all feel like that. Because if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, where would we be right now? Good God Almighty. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we're going to have a selection from one of the best praise teams on this side of heaven. Here it go. All right, all right. You got a prayer. I've been running for the Lord a long time. I told the Lord to help me because nothing was going right now. I prayed. The Lord said, I got you. He said something to me to walk by faith. I'm not right. This song is special to me. My sister Lord, she gave me the song.
song, sing a little song, come with me. You have.
I just had to take a moment to think back on my own life. I'm not ever going back. My understanding is zero. I am sold out for the Lord. I thought it was that first thing with cancer that caused me to sell out. Uh-uh. I thought it was that second thing with cancer. Uh-uh. But after that third one, and he did what he did, I ain't never going back. You always testifying about your cancer. You ought to testify about something God done brought you out of. Somebody need to hear your testimony. I'm not going back. Every time I do this, I jump. You see what I did? Every time I almost look back, I jump. Woo. Do y'all know what it's like knocking on the door of hell, trying to kick the door of hell open? But a man named Jesus called your name to say, come this way, my son. That's what happened to me. I was trying to get in hell. I had all the right reasons to go to hell. But a man named Jesus said, Son, come this way. And here I go. That's a very personal song right there. It's very personal. Did you hear the words of the song? For the fifth time I asked. Yes. I'm never going back, brother. God bless you this morning. That song meant something to him. Good God of mine. All right, give me a minute. Let me find myself in the program. Because I'm good at getting lost. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. I love these sisters and brothers back here. Because they straighten me out every time I skip something. Now we're going to have the announcements. Happy birthday, Bell. Happy Father's Day. Oh, happy birthday. I think I'm at 65 now. You think? Hey, Amen. Good morning, y'all. Well, there's a lot of fathers in here. We almost looking like Mother's Day, huh? Hey, man, these men stepping up. Boy, y'all got some leaders in the community. They want to serve the Lord. Wherefore, it is also contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Welcome to Mount Zion, where you will love your what? Y'all thought I was gone, but ain't nobody gonna wrap me out. Amen. On first Sunday is our communion Sunday. Amen. I mean, first Sunday is where we give honor to God in remembrance of him. Ain't nobody say, woo, amen. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Hold on. On first Sunday is Communion Sunday, amen. Okay, Lord, you heard them. Okay, they get a point. Anyway, second Sunday is for the women of Zion. Oh, okay. The men been showing out lately. Let me hear the men for the third Sunday. Give me this mic. And on fourth Sunday is for Z. Sunday we have young adults. That's every nine years. On Monday nights we have our men of Abraham prayer, debriefing, and Bible study via Zoom. I heard the women. I heard the women be ear hustling when they be on when their husbands be on the line on Monday night. <laughs> Debriefing Bible study and rehearsal. I don't hear my praise team members making no noise. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, on Wednesday nights, we have our youth Bible study from 6 30 to 7 30 p.m. If you got kids in your neighborhood, your kids' kids, your cousin kids, your auntie, uncle kids, bring them by. We got some great youth leaders in here. Lady Alls, Pastor Alls, and Minister Mumford in her absence. Amen. If your kids ain't coming, they missing something. Oh, Cassandra. 
Okay, Adrian. Uh-huh. Cassandra about the same size as the kids, huh? They all want to say. I love you. I love you. I love you. Too. Okay, Deanna. 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 You know, y'all know we get together with One Way Church and Cornelia Ministries, right? Our praise team is having a unity practice Monday here at 7 p.m. Amen. We're going to get together. We're going to have a mass choir with the three churches. Amen. Y'all ready for that? Amen. But it's Father's Day. It's Father's Day. Y'all, happy Father's Day to all the men, the uncles, and just men in the community that don't have kids, that are fathers to other people's kids. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. But taking care of somebody else's kids when you will take care of your own. But if you take care of your own, you get a plus happy Father's Day again. Hey. Do we Do we have any Oh wait, we probably be going to We got our 13th church anniversary on the 23rd. I hope all y'all don't buy the ticket to the on the bus because we riding. Comfort. We got 21 seats left. We got 21 seats left. They twenty five dollars. If you ain't uh, bought a seat, you're wrong. All right. See, see, uh, Regina. Oh, see, sister Regina in the back. If you got your twenty five dollars today. I'm sure she'll take it. Still. Okay. Amen. Do we have any visitors today? If so, please stand. We want to acknowledge. Sister Pat, here she comes. 
everybody that didn't get it, but what it is, we are gonna get it to you though. Just need to know the count. But see, for me, I look at this as a positive thing. That means the brothers are picking up. The women can take back that stage. So, you know, they said, you no, know, there's an overflow going on. And this is an overflow. I remember right past some people. The women used to clown on us. But now we get to clown on you all. That's the wonderful part I love. But I'll get back to my sister. I can talk. I can talk. I don't know who, who's worse, man. Thank you, Richard. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Well, now we're to the part of the service. Pastor Palmer's going to come, and then we're going to unload some of them finances. Oh, yeah. Amen. Can we give God a hand, praise? Amen. Are anybody thankful for God this morning? Amen. If God been good to anybody other than myself, Amen. If God been good to you, somebody make some noise this morning. Amen. Every chance we get to give God praise, that's a blessing all by itself. Amen. So this time, Amen. We just want to be. A blessing, amen, to the ministry, amen, a time in which we can give a portion back in which God has blessed us with all, all week long, amen. So we got to ask those of you that have an electronic payment, amen, if you would go to the back, amen, and one of the ushers, amen, will lead you into the finance office, amen. But if you are here and you want to give, amen, to cash, I mean, if you need a if you need an envelope, if you will elevate your hand and the usher will get you a yellow envelope. Um, if everyone has an envelope, Amen. If you would be in the hands of the ushers at this time, Amen. So please follow the direction. Please follow the direction of the usher.
Don't worry about falls. I miss you all dearly, so keep up your chin until the day comes when we're together again. Fathers and sons, if you would stand, if you're a father, please stand. If you're a father. Fathers, this is to you from your son. No father to your son. To my son, never ruin a good day by thinking about a bad yesterday. Believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. When life tries to knock you down, move on and let those pains become stepping stones to better things in your life. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and love more than you know. Love your dad. Dear dad, sign to father. Dear dad, thank you for always being there for me. You have always loved me with your whole heart. Thank you for all that you have done and continue to do every day. I will forever be grateful for you. I am not sure if I have told you this as much as I should. You will always be my hero. I love you always and forever. Love your sons and your daughters. If you guys could, you may stand. I'm trying to place, if it would play for you this morning. Hopefully it will. This is to all the fathers. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you, guys. For those that have a father, think about your blessing. Amen. You know, don't take it for granted. Amen. You know, love your father. Amen. Because one day, they're going to be gone. So I wish all fathers happy Father's Day. Be blessed. And it's so good to have men in the church. Because you could have been somewhere else. And normally, you were. But thank God for his healing and his blessing. Happy Father's Day. Amen. Let's give our senior ministry a round of applause. And one thing about our senior ministry is they are very active. So if you're thinking about joining in with this ministry right here, better put on your running shoes. Tomorrow they will be going line dancing for all those seniors who would like to go. I told y'all they were active. Oh yeah. Amen. Now we're gonna um we have a selection by the praise team. Then we're gonna have a scripture by Deacon Smith. And I will introduce the speaker, but I better let his wife do it. So after the scripture, his wife is going to come and introduce him. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.
said, good morning, family. Good morning. Praise God. some great conspiracy. They haven't found anything yet, but they keep talking about it. But the Bible records the great conspiracy when the religious leaders and a disciple named Judas conspired to betray our Lord and Savior. So I'm going to be reading from the book of Luke, chapter 23, beginning at verse 8. And I'll give you time to get there. Because we don't want to leave nobody behind. Luke 23 and 8. When you have it, you can say amen. Amen. And it reads thus. And when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceeding glad, for he was desirous to see him of a long season, because he had heard many things of him, and he hoped to have seen some miracles done by him. All right. Then he questioned with him in many words, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and scribes stood and vehemently accused him. And Herod with his men of war sent him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him again unto Pilate. Uh -huh. And the same day Pilate and Herod were made friends together for they were at enmity between themselves. And Pilate, when he had called together the chief of priests and the rulers of the people, said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me, one that perverted the people. And behold, I having examined him before you, have found no fault in this man, touching those things which of you accuse him. No, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Amen.
I'm very grateful for this man of God. I count it all joy to be able to present him to you. Um, the man of God that God has created him to be. My man. And because he's a great father. And he's sometimes my dad too. <laughs> to keep us. Amen. 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 Times in which you felt like you, you couldn't make it, God was still there. Amen. Amen. Times when you wanted to throw in the towel, God was still there. Yes. Amen. I was I didn't I wasn't planning on being a preacher. I was a gangster. All right. Yep, that wasn't on my list of things to do. But God had a different plan. Amen. And when God have a different plan, there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. And I'm, I'm grateful on today. We do give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We give honor to Pastor Murray in his absence. First Lady, amen, we do say happy Father Day to all the fathers, amen, I do thank God for the love of my life, amen, amen, my wife, amen, if it wasn't for the prayers, I wouldn't be this dude that I am today, if it wasn't for the patience that she had, I probably wouldn't be this dude today. Um, because I was a force to be reckoned with. But well, God has a way of taking broken goods. God has a way of taking a nobody and making them a somebody. God has a way. I tell people God took this 6'4", 235 pounds of dirt and made something different out of it. And it wasn't easy. But Psalms 37 and 23. Psalms 37 and 23. Psalms 37 and 23. We're just going to talk about that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of the way. Psalms 37 and 23. When you have it, can you say amen? Amen. amen. The steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. The steps of a good man, not just an ordinary man. All right. But a good man is ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. You may have a seat. And that's all we're going to talk about this morning, is the steps 
of a good man. A good, a good man does not always find himself giving in to things that were supposed to kill him. A good man does not allow himself to be led by circumstances or other people, even his own feelings. A good man not only a God, not only allow God to lead his life, but also control his life. I'm talking about a good man. I I I, I thought I could do it all, but on my best day of thinking was still my worst day. When I thought I had the master plan, it wasn't even close to a plan. A good man. When God orders your steps, you can walk on things that were supposed to kill you. When God orders your step, you can walk out of your past into your future. When God, when God orders your step, when God orders your step, you can look the devils in the eye and tell them you should have killed me when you had me. But since you allowed me to get away, I got to give God a praise. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about a good man. See, me and the devil was close friends. Me and the devil hung out when nobody else would hang out with me. I was so close to hell, I used to smell like smoke. But God had a different plan. When I wanted to fight people, God said, no, 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 I got another fight. When, when, when I wanted to fight other people for things they didn't even do, for, do wrong to me, God said, nope, I got another fight. He allowed me to fight the good fight of faith. When your steps is ordered by God, you don't worry about what people say about you. You don't worry about what people do to you. You just trust God through the process. We're talking about a good man. Now all of us as men that sit here, we wasn't always a good man. At one point, we was a lying man. We was a stealing man. We was a cheating man. Some of us even called us a no good man. But the Bible tells me that the steps of a good man is ordered by God. So regardless of what you say about me, my steps is ordered by God. Regardless how much you talk about me, my steps is ordered by God. I was the one that they said would be least likely to succeed. But that wasn't the end of the story. A good man. Do I have any good mans in here? See, see, sometimes people mistake our goodness and sometimes they mistake our kindness for weakness. But 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 a good man can take things that's supposed to kill him. A good man can walk away when you're talking about it. A good man can let you say things knowing that you're wrong and keep his peace. I'm talking about a good man. I, I, I wasn't always that type of person that will hold my peace. I would hold something, but it wasn't my peace. It wasn't until I had an encounter with God when I wasn't even expecting the encounter. I just showed up one Sunday morning. I didn't show up because I wanted to go to church. I showed up because somebody invited me to church. But not realizing that that day 
Not realizing that that Sunday morning, when I sat in his seat, back there where Mother Harrison is sitting, I, I sat there and the preacher was preaching about fighting the fight. And, 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 and the word got so good, I, I, I thought my, my wife, my girlfriend at the time, was telling my business. But, but, but the word was so good. And, and as, he, as he preached the word, I was sitting there, mother, my leg just went crazy on me, mother. And, and, and then I took my hand and I put it on my leg and the other leg took on mother. And, and, and I said, Lord God, what's going on? I, I tried to put my hand on both of them. I ended up in the middle of the floor, mother. I don't know how I got there, but, but, but I felt a change at the time. And somebody just showed up today because you were invited. You, you, you didn't come because you woke up wanting to come here. Somebody invited you here on Father Day and you're not a father. Somebody invited you here on Father's Day and you're not a man. But I'm crazy enough to believe that you're in the right place at the right time. The Bible tells us that I will never leave you nor will I forsake you. So, so for all of us that thought we was left, I got good news for you. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the steps of a good man. Woo! The steps. See, see, see. They didn't think I was going to be a preacher. I didn't think I was going to be a preacher. But it wasn't for them or me to think because all the while they were thinking and I was thinking God was ordering my steps. God took. See, I like to talk about me so y'all talk. But 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 God took a drug dealer. God took a beer drinking. God took a weed smoker. You maybe just me. But 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 God took a black gangster disciple and ordered his steps. My steps didn't always go in the right direction. But but somebody say something got a hold of me. And, 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 and once it got a hold to me, he began to order my steps. He ordered my steps in a way that the places I used to go, I don't go no more. He ordered my steps in a way that the places I used to go, I don't go no more. The things I used to do, I don't do no more because a good man steps are ordered by the Lord. Uh, and I'm not talking about a good man. I'm talking about a good woman. Because some of y'all was, y'all was going in every direction. But one thing that I learned if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. But I'm talking about the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Broke, busted, and disgusted. They still ordered. Don't have a dime in my pocket. They still ordered. Wanted to throw in the town. They still ordered. I'm talking about the steps of a good man. The steps. The steps. Let me bring my first witness to the witness stand. I'm talking about the steps. In the summer of 1987, a young man was living a life as the prodigal son. He was
was doing everything that he thought he was bad enough to do. Riotous living, selling drugs, doing this and doing that. This young man had several encounters with the police. I'm talking about this young man. There came a time when this young man's father said, enough is enough. Enough is enough. This father walked and found his son and said some simple words. Son, what are you going to do with yourself? In the fall of 1987, I found myself leaving Chicago not to ever return only but to visit. I'm talking about the steps of a good man. Now my father was a man that didn't say very many words. I, 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 at the beginning of the year, he went on home to glory, but 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 I, I can't be sad about it because I was encouraged. Because through all of his pain, all he said, son, God is good. When the doctor didn't know what was going on with him, he said, son, God is good. In all the pain that he had, all he kept saying is, God is good. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So, 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 if he took me, I just told you my history. But, 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 I got a news flash. Sometimes we come to church. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Sometimes we come to church. And we act like we ain't been through nothing. We come to church and we act like we're saved and sanctified. We come to church sitting up here like a bunch of church celebrities. We come to church sitting here like God hadn't done anything for me. But a good man steps are ordered by the Lord. Sometimes you gotta fight on the steps. Steps are not easy, but you gotta look back and say, For God I live and for God I die. When you're taking a step, when you find yourself running into turbulence, for God I live and for God I die. A good man steps are ordered by the Lord. Somebody shout, Order my steps, Lord. Woo! We're talking about a good man. God would have grace. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down, you make me nervous. Sit down. My father said, son, what are you going to do with yourself? For some of y'all sit here with us. What are you going to do with yourself? Warning comes before destruction. Warning comes before destruction. You're talking about a man that should have been locked up. Not one time. Not two times. Not three times. Okay, yeah. Anyway, fair, not. Come on. <laughs> but a good man. Steps. Yes, See, and one thing I love about God, he don't just take good men, because at the time I wasn't a good man. Yeah. Come on. All right, but he had another plan. Right. For me, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, a good man. The police put his gun to the back of my head. And he said I should have killed you. Only thing I had enough strength to do was turn back and look at him and say, sir, I'm glad you didn't. Because he had every right. He had every right. Because I had a gun. And when I threw the gun, he was on me like this suit on my back. He had the right to kill me. But God had a different plan. The steps of a good man were ordered by the Lord. The steps. Somebody shot the steps. See, when, when, when God is on you, amen, favor is not fair. The steps. Something about 
about when you make steps, amen? You move forward. The steps. Come on, somebody, the steps. I wanted to give up, guys, but the steps. I wanted to throw in the towel, y'all, but the steps. I'm a preacher and I still get tired sometimes, y'all, but the steps. Woo! You think I wake up every morning? Yes, Jesus, Jesus, no, some days I want, I want to just be Reggie, but the steps. The steps of a good man. Oh, I look. By the Lord. Everything to 
together, what he was going to say when he made it home. But I'm just crazy enough to believe, D. Pastor H, I don't think he got a chance to use it. Because when he was on his way home, woo, he didn't get a chance to use it. Because when he was on his way home, the Bible says, when he was yet a great way off, when he was yet a great way off, some of us sitting up in here tonight is a great way on. Some of us sitting here this morning is a great way on. But I come to tell you, we're in the right place at the right time. He, he was a great way on. And then it says, his father saw him. I just come to let you know, your father see you. Your father see you. Your father see you. He saw a great. He was a great way off, and he still saw. He see you where you at. He see you where you at. No devil in hell can stop what God has for you. But he see you where you at. Somebody shall see me, Lord. Woo. He's still pushing me. Stop pushing me, man. And he's still pushing me. The Bible said he was a great way off. And he saw him. And he said he ran to him and had compassion. See, sometimes when some of y'all kids come home, you have no compassion. When some of y'all kids come home, you say, I'm sorry, but the key don't work no more. You had no compassion. When some of your kids come home, you say, sorry, love don't live here no more. Yeah, but, 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 but this man, when his son showed up, the Bible said he had compassion. And he fell on his neck and kissed him. But I just want to, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to warn some of y'all. Watch who you're kissing.
Come on down for some prayer. Just come down for something. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, I be doing it too. 
the farmer jumped. When he knew that, he gone. He had left the building, y'all. What a word, what a word. We're going to, um, Brother Petlow, have a quick testimony. And then, um, I believe they're feeding the men after church. So, brethren, no, why if you can save that money you got, that you were going to treat your husband and brother or somebody out for dinner, and you can fellowship with them out. We got some good food here. I promised my wife I was going to eat one plate. Just one. Lord forgive me. Praise the Lord, everybody. I just want to take the time to thank Pastor Avery for this outstanding weekend we had for Father's Day. So whoever didn't come out, y'all missed a great time. I just want to thank him and his wife, especially for pouring into us and leading and guiding us as far as being a father. And one more thing. My pet, my sponsor, please stand up right here, Ken Draper. I was addicted to drugs. And this man is a good man. His sense is ordered by the Lord because he got me through. He helped me. We're friends. He's not just a sponsor, but he's a friend. He's there in the time of need. He came. I want to recognize him. You're a good man. And your sense is ordered. And I would like to thank my friend right here. I forget her name. She's my eye doctor. This is her second time here. I forgot her name, but I know her face. Maria, I just want to say thank you. And everybody, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Amy. Thank you for the miracle for what y'all did. Amen. And Pat Lowe, you can't go cut yards with me. He didn't hear that. All hearts and minds clear, we're going to bring back Pastor Palmer, and he's going to close us out. Hey Amen. We're just grateful, hey Amen, for, for God and everything that he's done. Hey Amen. We pray that something we said, hey Amen, that you can carry along with you a little bit throughout the week, but God is yet good. Before I can preach the message to you all, I had to first preach it to my own self. I had to preach it to myself first. And I'm just so grateful. Eternal God in heaven, Lord, we thank you for the time and space that you allowed us to come together, God. Now, Father, we ask that you bless your people, God, as we go our various ways. God, we ask that you keep us. Keep us covered, oh God. Keep us protected, God. But most of all, order our steps, oh God. Now, God, we ask that you bless the food that has been prepared. Bless those that who labored, Lord. We ask that it be a nourishment to our bodies, oh God. And Father, we thank you in advance, oh God. We ask that you continue to keep our pastor and first lady covered, oh God, as they travel. Lord, we pray that you bring them back in the same manner in which they left, oh God. But Lord, bring them back replenished, oh God. Bring them back revived, oh God. Bring them back restored, oh God. That they may continue to be about kingdom business, oh God. And God, we thank you for these, your people to be about. Be with us and keep us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.